Welcome, Dark Warriors. This is Rumen. So last time we explored Detroit, which had an arena that seemed pretty important, but I couldn't actually fight in the arena. So it seemed to be mostly for show. Anyway, we ended up exploring a short cave, and none of that was particularly interesting. You know, Detroit in the cave, n none of that was interesting. In fact, the cave looked completely optional. What was interesting was we met a new character named Fia. She had the same face paint as Cius, and she seemed to have a history with Cius as well. She also killed the guards to the cave entrance, even though she could have just walked past them like I did. Anyway, from what I gathered from that cutscene, Cius' father wanted him to become a knight captain, but Cius refused the position for some vague reasons. But I couldn't really blame Cius for refusing to join, because Fia seemed to be a part of it. Like, I think Cius didn't become a knight captain because he would need to work with Fia, and Fia is bad news. Anyway, now that we're in Astral, let's get exploring. Let's talk to all the NPCs, because that's what I'd like to do. Welcome to Astral. This is Astral City, a town full of strong people. Remember that using items intelligently is part of any winning strategy. Well, I'm not used enough to the mechanics of this game to be doing that, so oh well. Uh, I doubt I need any of that. Also, diamond is expensive. Eggs and dairy, that's really cheap. Eh, I don't, I don't need any of that. I don't know. I, I seem, I, I seem to be doing fine without food, so I doubt I have to worry about it. This is an inn. Anytime someone mentions the three horses of the demonic wars, the first name that pops. Into my head is Lord Leus. I mean, Lias. Wait, Seus's father? Was he a general in the, in the Demonic Wars? Also, why do people keep mentioning the Demonic Wars casually in conversation? People don't bring up World War II in conversation in real life, so... I don't know. I mean, some people do, but it's rare. Like, m most people you come across aren't, go aren't going to just mention it. Anyway, don't ever stand right behind me can't e e even I can't control the killer instincts of my right arm deadly warrior okay how's it going so if I stand right behind him will he hit me I don't know I am currently researching a phenomenon known as lycanthropy there is a rare race of people called lycanthropes who apparently have the ability to transform into wolves I wonder how they do it I saw one of those in the opening AMV. I can't go down there. I wish I could. This music is really good. This is one of the best songs that is that has played so far, actually. Astral isn't at war with the armies of the demonic world like Van and Sublin are, but many Highlanders are fighting over there as mercenaries. Have you heard of the Feather Folk? They're a race of beautiful people with bird-like wings. They really are a lot like angels. Wait, are the demonic wars happening right now? And that's why people people keep mentioning it? Maybe. My dream is to one day make it into the astral nights. And you can still see Roddick's reflection in the water there. Nice. Nice! I don't mean to brag, but I think Astro City is the safest place in the world. Welp, a bunch of thugs just barged into here last episode. Remember that? Thea and her group of... Uh, people? You'd think there'd be a book of techniques lying around here somewhere, this being the Kingdom of Swords after all. Is that a hint? Do I gotta look for a book? I don't know. All right, do I have enough money for this? Oh, I already bought all of this. Yeah. Okay. Look at this. Th 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 this is cool. This desk right here. Nice. Okay. I like how every single building has, has such a different interior. I make the weapons and armor for the Astral Knight, so you know you're getting quality. Wow, the Kung Fu top looks really good. Like 100 defense and 50 AVD. How about that? Eh, I don't know. That's expensive. I could grind for that money, but I don't really feel like it. 
depending on whether you enter from Detroit or Astral City, you'll end up taking a different route through the Astral Caves. So, okay, that's what that was all about. Okay. Because I noticed I could either take the boat here or I could take a different route. And I'm wondering if there's even another route that I missed to, to get here. So, I don't know. Would that cutscene with Fia have been different if I entered from a different place? Not sure. She she killed the guards at the cave entrance. I wonder if that could have been avoided if I took a different route. Hey, boys aren't allowed to complain. Mommy, I'm hungry. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I'm hungry. Okay. Will you two stop going on about it? It's almost ready. Aw. This, this is just an innocent family. I have not seen one father in this game so far. I mean, I have, I've, I've heard of Cius' father, but I have not met him yet. Let me tell you a little bit about customization specialty. I can't tell you much, this being the source of my income, but let me just say the key is to combine good weapons with valuable metals. Okay, being sting stingy and using only cheap weapons won't get you far. Wait a minute, is he saying to only use good quality weapons? Or is he saying that equipping a weapon and then having a certain type of metal on your accessory can make that weapon more powerful? I don't know. I feel like I'm looking way too deeply into it. This is a very large town. The train specialty can make life difficult because it lowers your combat abilities, but you'll gain much more experience as a reward. So I want to avoid that one, right? If you walk outdoors a lot, you may want to forage around the boulders you see sometimes. Herbs can often be found in such areas. I haven't actually seen any boulders in the overworld. I can't go in here? Oh wait, cutscene. Hey, what's up? Oh, the store is locked. Hey, what's up? Oh, is this the... Oh, is the door... What is this? What's that all about? I gotta find a different way in? Maybe. Huh. Look at this. Let's head to the inn for the night, okay? We should get some rest. Yeah, I could use some sleep myself. Alright. Before I do that... There is still one last place I've not explored. That is all the way up. Look at this. Oh, it's the Taj Mahal! Or, or it's like the Taj Mahal. It's definitely inspired. Aw, oh, look at this. Look at the animated water. Look at that water. Can I examine it and heal? No. I like the sound effect of the, of, of the door. You'll need to learn many skills to be able to mix herbs, like the herbology skill, for example. Wait a minute, does that mean I gotta learn a cooking skill before I can cook anything? Maybe. Oh my gosh, dungeon. Can I read that? No. If you don't have any business here, I suggest you leave. That's kind of an ominous way to put that. Let me out. Are you important? Probably not. Oh my goodness. This music is so good. It is so actually good. Did I talk to you yet? Please be on your best behavior in front of His Highness. Is His Highness uh, Lord Lias? Can I meet him? No, I cannot. Okay. If, if, if I can't meet him, then why would this guard even tell me that? Okay. I have heard of certain symbols being hidden in various parts of the world. Visiting these areas may allow me to acquire rare spells that I have never even heard of. I should definitely re remember that. This seems like very good advice that this NPC just told me. And watch me forget it next episode. Look at this. This is a very pretty looking room. Can I examine that chest? No. There is an NPC right here. Murray. I'm the maid in charge of the royal chambers. Please don't go around dropping dirt. Reminds me a lot of Valkyrie profile. 
And there is a room over here. Oh, a lot of rooms. Look at this. I'm working on a new musical piece for the king and queen. What's your name? World Musician Asato. Oh, look at this room. Look at how detailed this room is. Look at that. Look at everything. I could examine this for minutes. I just brushed past Captain Fia a few minutes ago. I think I'm in heaven. I don't know, dude. You might want to lay off. She killed someone who looked just like you in cold blood. For no reason. Hmm, Captain Fia is looking good as always. Okay, why did she kill the guards? I'm still confused about that. Is it just to show she's risky business? I don't know. I don't trust her. I don't like her very much either. Alright, I think that's everything here, pretty much. I will now go to the inn to sleep. Oh, I have not been over here yet. Let's head for the inn. Oh, this is just a transport thing. Okay. What is this? Lord Lias. Oh my gosh, the guard came back to Lord life. Lias. What's going on? Dude, that's the same guard uh, Fia killed. Lady Fia. Also, I know that's not the same soldier. I'm just, I'm just joking. It's the same exact character model and same portrait. What are you doing? Oh my goodness. Lady Fia, what have you done? <sighs> Call the guard! It's Lady Fear! She's attacked Lord Lias! That's Lord Lias? Val, did something happen? Did she just assassinate, uh, Sius's father? What's up, Sius? That's a coded message from the Astral Night Corps. Well, no fucking wonder why he didn't want to work with Fia. You've got to be kidding me. How the hell could she do something like that? Oh, so it's like Morse code. Wait, is that where she is? I hope I can get ahead of her. Hey, see us. Let's go after him. Damn, you just won't give up. All the ships have been blockaded. If you want off the astral cliff sides, this is the only exit you've got. Is a boss fight coming up? Are we gonna fight her? See us! Isn't that Fia? See us! Come on, please let me go. Well, no. You just killed his father, and I'm assuming that he knows from the Bell Morse code, right? You. You and I are friends, aren't we? That's not a particularly trustful tone that you're speaking with. Who the hell are you? If you're gonna try imitating her, you could start by ordering me around, you fake. Not by pleading with me. Oh, wait. Is she a shapeshifter? That girl ain't no princess. Never was, never will be. And if you're trying to ruin Fia's life, then I'll rip you apart right here! I remember talking to an NPC about shapeshifters. I don't remember you being any prince yourself. Oh my goodness. <laughs> what? Fia. Huh. This just isn't my lucky day. Oh my, oh my gosh, even I got duped. I thought, I thought Fia was... A murderer. I mean, she is, isn't she? Wait, no, wait. So was it a different Fia that killed the innocent guards guarding the cave last episode? I don't know. Oh my gosh. Whoa, you're one ugly mother. <laughs> Could you transform into something else? 
I could do without seeing that. How about if I make you regret ever laying a hand on Lord Lights? Oh, okay, so she's all right. <laughs> it's just kind of silly. Get her! What the fuck is this? What is that? What is this all about? Thanks for believing in me. I guess we have Fia on our team now, right? Well, that's funny because Fia, I mean, because Cius, Cius didn't actually really believe in her. He just didn't trust the fake version of her. Let's hurry. Right. Oh my goodness. All right, health restore, time to save. All right, saving done. And Fia, let me look at you. What do you got on you? Got throwing dagger, ring mail. I'm going to give you a helmet. Um, can I give you any good accessory? Um, I'm not going to give you a necklace right now. Uh, all right, I cannot give you any better weapon. How about, how about special arts? Raven sword and dancing sword. There we go. And skills, go to learn skills. I'm going to teach her some determination. Oh my gosh, she has a lot of SP actually. Okay. And I also want to look at your status. Okay, favorite food unknown. She has really high defense and really high attack. Her talents are those four things. Oh, so, oh, Rodix's favorite food is twice cooked pork. So how do I find out Ilya and Celis's? I mean, Celis's favorite food. I don't know. I'm guessing I have to go to skills. And then if I learn recipe, I could probably learn what their favorite foods are, right? I don't know. Maybe. Definitely something to think about. Will we'll, we'll not open. All right. All right, Fia. Let me see how you do. All right, let me check you out. Oh my gosh, why can't I? Okay. All right. <laughs> I don't know. Characters take really weird paths in this game. I'm, I'm just not used to controls. Also, she can throw daggers. Look at her. Oh, cool. All right, I like Fia a lot. Like I wasn't trying to run in circles there. It's just when you lock onto a target, they'll run in circles. Like, say I locked onto that target, and you think Roddick would just run straight to it, but no, he goes around all the other enemies first. I don't know. Necklace. I cannot go over that. Nope, go back down. And there was an enemy encounter in the middle of the Faden. Oh, look at that flip she just did. Oh, cool. I like their sprite work a lot. Oh my gosh, there are a lot of branching paths here. Glad Gladius. A type of dagger. Oh yeah, that's so much better on her. Actually, hold on a second. Settings, equip wizard. What, why is this all turned off now? I, I did not turn that off either. You know what? Fuck it. <laughs> it. If the game is going to keep turning that off, then I might as well just keep it off. I might as well succumb to the game. Pathetic. Let's get this over with fast. Roddick, what the hell? Oh my gosh, just run up to the enemy. That was a really quick battle, actually. Crystal. Oh, save point. I might as well save. Like, even though I pretty much literally just saved, there's really no harm. To Astral City. And okay, I need to heal from that battle. Damn! You guys are.
more obstinate. Everything would have gone perfectly fine if you hadn't come along. <laughs> I think the I think the voice actor is trying a little bit hard there. What? Damn you all! Prepare to die where you stand. Oh my goodness. Bring it on! Oh, L. Oh, what is that? Attack that one. Front and center. Yes, Firestorm Blade. Let her have it. She's blocking a lot of my moves. She did a lot of damage there. Yeah, just stun lock her. Alright, there we go. Well, Man, there those guys go. were boring. I feel like I've obtained something new. I got more skill points and a new move from that battle. Why'd you have to go after my dad? Lord Lias was one of the heroes of the demonic wars. Any demon would have a bone to pick with him for that reason alone. Regardless, we'd better return to the castle. I'm worried about Lord Lias. I'll take this monster's head and return to the castle. I'm sure the king will have some kind of reward in return, so please wait and rest up at the inn for now. Until tomorrow, then. Hold it. I'm going with you. No. I want Sears to stay with us. So last episode, you know, CS didn't even want anything to do with her. So I'm happy that he gained her trust again. He'll need bed rest for a while, but there's no danger to his life. Also from the subtext, it seemed like CS had some sort of issue with his father according to last episode, but now it doesn't really seem like that anymore. Good to hear that. It's like, why didn't he Thank want to you. become... You're relieved from duty. I'll take over from here. Like, like, why didn't Sias want to be a knight? Yes, Captain. I don't know, I guess he really didn't think he was good enough. Like, I thought maybe he didn't want to become a knight because maybe he disagreed with his father. Well, you heard him. Like his morals and stuff didn't didn't agree. Guess I'll be heading back then. Sorry if it's annoying that I talk over cutscenes. What? Without even seeing your father? How am I supposed to face him now after all that's happened? Go face them, Sears! Look, whatever's going on in your mind, it doesn't matter. Lord Lias was constantly waiting for your return. He still is today! That's why I can't bear to see him. Oh, oh my goodness. Drama! I'm not ready to face him just yet. What? Everything you said about me when we met in the city was true. Oh my goodness. Listen to this music. When I heard that my dad recommended me for Night Captain, well, I was scared out of my mind. So the last episode was played completely straight. My companions ridiculed me. My father got a black mark on his record, but most of all, I just lost all ability to believe in myself. Like, like I thought from the cutscene last episode, at the end of last episode, there might have been some sort of like deeper reasoning going on, but no. Sius is just a dude with issues, it appears. I knew I wouldn't have any place left to turn if this kept going on. So that's why you left Astral? Yeah, I wanted to be stronger. That's all there was to it. Oh. You better not tell anyone about this. I couldn't say it to any of the other guys. <laughs> I mean, she kind of knew from the get-go. Growing up unsure of yourself, that makes you the same as any other knight or mercenary. The only difference is what you believe in. 
All right, last episode I said, I, I mean, at the beginning of this episode, I said I wasn't too fond of Fia, but now I actually like her a lot. I think she's great. Huh? Where did that come from? Nothing. Never mind. A knight must dedicate himself to his master. And a swordsman must dedicate himself to his blade. Think you can believe in that now? <laughs> Guess we'll see. Do you have any thoughts about returning? If it'll help, I apologize for what I said before. Not that it'll be enough, will it? Didn't bother me or nothing. So... But I don't want to go back just yet. Why not? There's this guy who's just utterly amazing with a sword. He isn't as experienced as I am, but I can tell he's really something. Like, it just feels like the guy's filled to the brim with talent. Is he talking about Roddick? I want to go travel with him for a little while. Yeah! I'm not stopping you. You didn't even say anything to me before taking off last time. Aww. If there's ever anything I can help you with, come back and see me. I'll... Ah, oh, damn it! I just pushed X by accident and cut out her dialogue early. This is a pretty sweet, bittersweet conversation. Sure, if I ever feel like it. Goodbye. He'll return one day. Damn it! How dim-witted can you get? He's always been so damn self-centered. Always! Oh, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, calm down. Aww. Well, that was a great cutscene. Yep. But what about her, CS? Huh? Ilya's very compassionate. It, it, it seems like she just wants people to get along and treat each other nicely. You know, her. It doesn't matter. So, I bring you a gift from the king himself. What is it? A token of appreciation for defeating the monster last night. Yeah, we totally slaughtered her. Cinderella glass. Like we trapped her in a corner and then we kicked the crap out of her. 200 skill points! I also bring a message from Lady Fia. What is it? If you're searching for someone, you should try visiting the Purgatorium. Purgatorium? That sounds like a dystopian name for a prison. It's a ruin of the old race, home to a hidden artifact called the Eye of Truth, so I am told. The Eye of Truth, huh? That sounds familiar. It's some kind of crystal ball that lets you see any person or thing you want, right? Yes, sir. That's what they say. Well, I don't mind following Fia's advice, but I wouldn't mind going from town to town on our way to Silverland, either. I'll leave the choice up to you guys. I'm fine either way. Hmm. I'm leery of relying on an old tale like that. What do you think, Roddick? Well, clearly we should go to Purgatorium, right? If we had that Eye of Truth, Maybe we could use it to find out where Millie and the Captain are. I say we give it a shot. Like, what would have happened if I said no to that? Legend has it the Eye of Truth is behind a hidden entrance separate from the main one. If you ask me, it doesn't sound like the easiest thing to find. Well, it's still better than nothing. Let's go. I see. Pardon me. Um, so where is the Purgatorium? Well, that's due north of here. If we leave Tatroy and follow the mountains to our right, we'll find a cave that takes us right there. Should she tell you where the hidden door was? I'm sorry, sir. I don't know the exact location. There is a rumor, however, that it lies deeper inside, removed from the temple itself. Perhaps you could search for an entrance behind the main door. Thank you very much. We'll check it out right away. Okay, these are very clear, very straightforward directions. All right. Thanks for your advice. Say hello to Fia for us. I know exactly what to do. Please be careful, all of you. 
and good luck in your travels. So it wasn't it it, it wasn't Fia that killed the guard. Alright. Okay, let's go!